Hello guys, uh, my name is Evans and uh, welcome to this uh, video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to start looking at the 2015 um, June ICT papers and um, this uh, video series is going to look at paper 2. Now I have two papers, um, two variants um, of um, this paper, paper 2.1 and paper 2.2. Two. And um, if I do have uh, time today, I'll try to record um, all the variants okay so that tomorrow sunday i can do paper three now i already have the files that i need um like i said i'll be able to put up um these files just below this video um you'll find a link where you can get the source files um, a number of you also did request that i should be putting also the uh, the worked files um so i'll also include them in the zipped file and um um then you guys can work along with these uh, files. Okay, so let's get started with um, the work. Okay, so um, so step uh, the scenario is that you work for an organization promoting coast fishing in the UK, and you're going to perform some task for this organization. Step one: open the evidence document called um, J215 Evidence.RTF. And make sure that your name, center number, and candidate number will appear on every page of this document. Save this document in work area as J215 evidence followed by your candidate number. For example, J215 evidence 9999. And you'll need this file later. Okay, so let's go ahead and do step number one. So I'm going to open up the same file uh, in question. So go in the folder and open J215 evidence. Then you're going to make sure that you insert um, a header. As usual, you're going to go for a blank three columns. Okay. And then you put your name. ZRM556, center number, and candidate number 000, um, rather, just 001. Okay. So then you need to save this file. So save us in the current folder. You're just going to add your candidate number at the end okay uh, don't bother about changing the file type uh, unless you've been told to do so otherwise you can leave it as that all right so next step let me close this next step mm. where is my question paper <laughs> I can, I can trace my question paper. Okay, there you go. So, um, we're done with step number one. Next, we're going to do, um, you're going to edit um, an information sheet about course fishing. Um, step two, using a suitable software package, load the file j215angling.rtf. Um, okay. Um, so, let's go ahead and load that file. It's this one. Just double click on it. Um, and then go back to the question paper. Step three, save this document with a new file name in your work area. Make sure it is saved in the format of the software you're using. Okay, so we are using Microsoft Word, so we're going to save it as a document file. So save us in a current folder. First thing, change it to do Word document file, and then save it with a new name. So I'm just going to remove J215, and um, I'll probably put my candidate number there just to give it a new name sort of okay and then click on save now you need to confirm that you're doing some upgrades okay so this is what happens when you change from um, rtf to a document file uh, some of the features that um, um, a document supports are not supported um, in rtf format so you need to um, be aware what happens when you change a file from rtf to word document in that it is going to allow you to um, put in some more features like um, complex graphics and stuff like that you can put them into your word um, document so just say okay go back to the question paper step number four set the page size to a4 and page orientation to portrait and then you need to place the screenshot evidence of the page size in your evidence document so come back here uh, go to layout and then page setup just click here and um, go to paper make sure that it's set to a4 go back to margins and make sure that you set it to portrait then get a screenshot of the paper uh, tab um, just there and there and copy it 
um, say OK and paste it in your um, evidence document like that. Next step, set the top margin to 3.5 centimeters and bottom margin to 2 centimeters, left and right margins to 1.5 centimeters and replace the evidence of this in your evidence document. Okay, So let's go ahead and um, do that. So go on page setup again, margins this time, set it to 3.5, um, the bottom set it to 2 centimeters, the left and right set them to 1.5 each and um, and say okay so before you say okay just get a screenshot of this okay so in case some of you are wondering what software I'm using I'm using a software called Lightshot it's a free um, software so you guys can just google it and um, go to the download page and you can get um, this software okay I hope um, schools do implement or do um, install this software on their computers so that you guys can work alone it's a very powerful software you don't need to crop out anything after you uh, take a screenshot of whatever you want to do uh, you just uh, you know cut that area and that's it okay when you just uh, press uh, print screen on your keyboard okay so let's go ahead um, copy say okay and go to the evidence document and paste the evidence of the margins here now you guys can go ahead and resize some of these things so that um, um, some text is just above um, uh, the image and so I'm not going to do that for the sake of time um, but I'll leave that up to you okay so step number um, step number six okay so place the image j215logo.jpg on the uh, right in the in the header okay um, so let's go ahead before even come to resizing let's go ahead and place this in the header so what I'm going to do is just to insert and then header um, I'll choose blank three column as usual delete the first two because we want right aligned and I'll click on the right one and go to insert and then picture and then browse to where my pictures are saved so desktop June 2015 paper 2 1 and um, logo is this one j215 logo so as you can see the file is, is slightly um, large so um, the next step is to resize it so resize the image to 2.5 centimeters high and maintain the aspect ratio so let's go ahead and resize this so to resize it um, simply uh, click on right click and then you can select a size and position and then under height change it to um, let's verify it should be 2.5 centimeters yeah 2.5 centimeters um, make sure that lock aspect ratio down here is checked otherwise this image will be distorted when you try to um, to resize it okay so say okay and there you go it looks perfectly fine it is fitting on the right of the margin so that is absolutely perfect okay so step number okay so let's see make sure the header is displayed on all pages okay and the image does not overlap on any text okay so we've done that um, as you can see the um, the image is displayed on all pages and it doesn't interfere with any text at all so step seven place in the footer automated file name and file path left aligned and your name and candidate number right aligned so make sure that the footer is displayed on all pages and alignments match the page margins okay so again if you want to avoid uh, your where your alignment um, um, differs with your page margins um, um, then you have to insert uh, blank three columns because you have all um, the alignment there the left aligned right aligned and center and so you don't need even to struggle when you do that so let's go ahead and insert a footer this time again choose blank three column for the reasons that I've just uh, said okay so here you're going to insert the file name and path so go to quick paths field then just hit F on your keyboard and file name comes up there and make sure you add path there say okay so next okay so i have a phone call just pardon me um okay i'm gonna have to reject this um sorry i'm using my wife's phone um she wanted to use my phone so i ended up getting her phone because <laughs> i wanted to check out some time um didn't have my wristwatch anyway so someone was trying to call her so just have to cut that call um, let's continue um, so I've just deleted the one um, the alignment on the center and um, um, so let's put our name and candidate number um, here so search casa 
Evans and um, candidate number zero 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 one. Okay. So, yep. So name and candidate number and everything. So just verify that the file name and path when you click here it is aligned uh, with the left margin and your name it is aligned with the right margin. So, uh, some of you may be trying to say well why is it not um, uh, on the same line why is this one above and this one below well it's because the file path like for me um, the file path um, um, it's a, l a long one so to say um, so if you have a shorter file path um, this would fit in one line but in my case, you go users, even uh, Chikasa E, desktop, ICT, whatever, and then just different folders inside there, and you find that it's going to overlap. But this is perfectly fine. It, uh, no one can lose marks for doing this. Okay, so um, I'm going to continue with step number eight. At the start of the document, enter the title, course fishing in the UK. So what I'm going to do is just copy this, um, just to avoid typing and all and i'm going to paste it just at the start of the document so at the start of the document i'll put my case at the beginning of the first letter um, in the first um, paragraph hit enter key on my keyboard and take it back there and paste it um, uh, paste what i copied right here okay so i'm just going to paste it like that um, then we're going to make sure that the title is right aligned and its size is 30 uh, point and then it is bold Okay, so just make sure that select it, make it right aligned, font give it 30. So there's no 30, just type 30 there. Um, and then make it, um, let's see, make it bold. Okay, so it is bold. Okay, that's fine. Um, next, we step number 10 below the title add the subtitle beginners guide by so i'm just also going to copy this and um, paste it just below the title so just put your case at the end there and paste it down there now um probably we need to format it um so before we format we need to add our name so let's go ahead and add our name we'll say chikasa evans and select it and go to the question paper makes the subtitle center aligned then it should be font size 16 point and italic and underlined with no other emphasis so let's go ahead and make it no other emphasis it shouldn't be bold should be italic should be underlined should be 16 and um, should be right aligned or center okay so just verify that all these are actually there so we've done center we've done font size 16 and we've done italic and we've done underlined and that should be perfectly fine okay so next um, next supposed to be step number um, okay let's see step number 12 set the title and subtitle to the same serif font so just select these two and um, some of you will be, be asking what's the difference between a serif font and a sans serif font well a serif font um, you will have sharp endings um, um, on each letter and a, sans, a sans serif font will have smooth endings for example the first one uh, the one which is there currently is a sans serif font because you don't have sharp endings at each uh, on each letter but check when i put times new roman and you see that Times New Roman kind of has those things that look like legs. <laughs> right, so yeah, so these are sharp endings that I'm talking about, and um, you see that um, this is a serif font, okay? So both the, uh, the title and the subtitle should have um, a serif font. Um, step number 13 set all the body text to be fully justified, font size 11, and sign serif font and single line spacing. So what I'm going to do is to select the entire text, which is for the body. Okay, make it to be 11 points, and make it to be a sans serif font. So I'll choose Calibri this time, and then make it to be um, fully justified. Okay, so fully justified, 
and um, let's see what else so we've done fully just fight we've done 11 points we've done the sun serif font and it should be a single line spacing so once it's selected just make sure that the line spacing is single okay which is just a one okay um, alternatively you can come here and check um, line spacing and put it at single that's still fine okay um, so step number 14 Format the text from the subheading, um, or format the text from the subheading types of angling so that um, this subheading and all following um, text is displayed in two equal uh, spaced columns with two centimeters spacing between the columns. Okay, so let's go ahead and format this. So the text beginning, um, the text that is beginning, let's see, beginning types of angling, that is the heading types of ang angling. So it's here. So get this text and um, all the way to the last one and format it into columns, two columns. Um, so two columns is spacing of two centimeters in between and say okay. So that's perfectly fine. Um, step number 15, identify all the subheadings. Um, and there should be seven of them in total and um, sometimes you may not given this figure you may not be given the figure you just have to look and you know that this is a subheading um, okay so we should we need to make them center aligned and they should be underlined and um, there should be a serif font and of the font size 14 points so let's go ahead and identify the subheadings so if you scroll up there so they are existing on their own more like a paragraph but um, they are just um, there so we have three then we have four, we have five, um, we have six, and we have um, seven, I think. This one getting started. Okay, so pardon me, my computer was um, freezing in a way. So just click this one. Uh, come on. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so there should be seven of them. Okay, so just verify one, two, three, four, five on this page six and seven. Um, so we need now to give them. Um, so they should be center aligned and underlined. So go to home, make them center aligned, make them underlined. There should be a serif font, um, a serif font and size fourteen. So a serif font, uh, not serif. <laughs> so I'll make them times New Roman, and they should be size 14. Okay, and that should be perfectly fine. Okay, so now I'm going to have to end um, on this uh, uh, step number 15 in this video. And uh, just shortly, I'll continue with step number 16, and then we can do a wind up on... Um, um, document production okay so thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe like and comment and um, i'll see you shortly in the next video